hi to Chaco. Okay, what do we have here? We have TGW as in that. He's going for uh, Altar and stuff. We have uh, Blade as human. Blade got his main race. W TGW did not get his main race. Happy vs. Lucy random is awesome. I revoked my vote for Blade. Yeah, we're definitely gonna watch Happy vs. Lucy. At least as long as um, Lucy wins. I mean, but even if Yagami wins, right? That's the game you guys voted for. But until then, we'll first watch the semifinals. We have a uh, random hero here for Blade. We have a random hero here for TGW. Both with a random hero. Ghouls here. No. Oh, Blood Mage, what a superhero for Blade. It's like he's just playing human. He just plays a standard human versus undead game. Normally, if you play this matchup as human versus undead, you also get a Blood Mage, right? Kappa? Almost Kappa. Uh, almost no Kappa, though. There was almost no Kappa comment, guys. There's Lightning Shield on the Blood Mage. And what do we get here? Burning to avenge. A life for Ayer. A life for Nerzul. Was the main race of TGW? He is human. He is a human player. And he gets a Beastmaster, which is, of course, also a hero you would get normally as Undead against human. It's like we have a standard game, guys. It's like we have a standard game. Blood Mage with Ring of Protection. He picks up the Mantle of Intelligence. Of course, that was a Kappa comment. We'd never see Beastmaster first as Undead against human. But we could. Maybe we could at some point in the future. Why no females are Warcraft 3? Hello, we have females. You mean female characters? Or you mean uh, casters or and players? Because there's uh, you know sorceresses, there's banshees. You know we have plenty of females. The ghoul here takes a little bit of game. Uh, what did I just say? The ghoul here takes a little bit of damage. Is what I said. I hope I said that because that's what I tried to say. Blood is going for this creep camp. And what do we have here? Another militia guy. He's gonna help. He is also going to help. But oh look at that flame strike. <laughs> So much damage. He, of course, he also has siphon mana. He has so much armor. He steals the mana from the Beastmaster. So he doesn't have infinite piggies. Piggies have no mana. There's a flame strike. The piggies burned. Oh, man. I want to eat some piggy. Uh, skeleton goes down. Some cooked piggy, guys. Well, Footman does go down. This, this ghoul is dead. Oh, Footman. Hello. Footman is still alive. The piggies are kind of angry, but not super angry. He does die. And, uh, well... Here comes the skeletons and the ghoul. Nice flame strike. <laughs> it's nothing really, but it was at least nice. This uh, piggy still alive in the back. The beast smash go for this peasant. But the peasant, he uh, he gets. Uh, is he going to die? The piggy still alive. He tries to repair the tower, but can he get the repairage? There, he kills the piggy. And now there's no more mana for more piggies because the blood mage can steal all your mana. Flame strike, by the way. I think. No, there is. A strategy where you do play blood match against undead, right? As human. It's uh, on Dalaran. Of course, not a map we normally see in tournaments or, you know, anywhere. We only see it on Nettie's ladder. But on Dalaran, you actually do play blood match against undead. So let's see if uh, TTW knows how to play the blood match. I think on this map, you can do the same, right? With, you know, the blood match just dropping in your base, killing everything with flame strike. It's really good, by the way. We've seen Chamiko do it. And win games against the best players in the world. This peasant here is, is still alive. This footman does go down. We have a level 3 build mage now. Level 2 flame strike and he has plenty of armor. So uh, no one can kill him while he's, while he's casting flame strikes. And everyone's just going to die. Everyone is just going to die to this blood mage. And it's it's going to be uh, quite, quite insane. Let me see meanwhile if... Uh, okay seems like the first game between Lucifer is done between uh, him and the Yagami. Here comes a uh, blood mage though. Stealing mana first from the, uh, the hero. Look at these flame strikes. Double slaughterhouses are over there. Uh, there's a flame strike. Boom. And then he stops out. He stops out. This ghoul is retreating. We have some militia here showing up. This foot man, this ghoul guys, this ghoul, how alive is he? He's dead guys. 
He's still alive. Okay, we have five ghouls. Five ghouls and they're going home. With two skeletons hunting down a footman. Footman is also going home. We have a beautiful game so far. A beautiful game. The footman is quite interesting. Is he attacking yet? Do we see attack here? For blade? We don't see attack. <laughs> May your health, I'll give it to you. <laughs> and the blood mage picks it up. Here come the ghouls. There's uh, no guard tower yet. The ghouls do so much damage here at the peasants. Peasants are going down. Going down fast. Uh, no surround here on the beast. Ma he could have just surrounded the beast master. Hello. He doesn't have a TP. He doesn't have a zeppelin. He doesn't have a staff. He's finally level two, the beast master. I guess it was uh, only level one beast master kill anyway, so who cares? But this ghoul is going down. It is going down. It's dead. This ghoul is uh, is also dead, guys. Gar! It looks pretty bad for TGW. I I'd like to say that, but we'll always know that the destroyer push can beat human players that are not prepared. So. Uh, so let's see how it goes. What are we talking about? <laughs> Great. Zero chance again? No, it's not zero chance yet. Not yet. Not yet. Even if this beast master was level one, the destroyer push, you know, it, it wins so often. If uh, Blade is not prepared for it, but Blade, of course, is a human player. He knows how to prepare for it. He knows how to defend it. Hello, Chaco. I'm back. Hello, Links Lin. Welcome back. The birdie sees a lot. Here comes the Blade Master. A uh, Blood Mage. He's almost the same as the Blade Master, except that he's, uh, well, slightly different. Look at this fight. He steals mana from the Beast Master. Beastmaster out of mana. The statues do so much magic damage to the footman. This footman takes a lot of the magic damage. There's a flame strike on the ghouls and footman and everything. No, he doesn't care who gets hit by it. He just wants to hit as many units. He uh, will have to TP out maybe here. 40 hit points. Oh no, footman surround on the beastmaster. What the fuck, beastmaster? Can you fit through there? Maybe you should go on the diet and uh, instead you just die. Level 4 blood mage is still not 0% because he will have up to 5 destroyers. He could maybe do something. But what masonry do we have? Oh, level one is about to be done. Okay, here come five statues. They turn into destroyers. Beastmasters back from the tavern. And uh, yeah, I mean, let's see. This is it, guys. This is the all-in push for TGW. If he doesn't win now, he loses. So let's see if we can win now. He doing some more mana. Kills his guard tower very fast. But there's more guard towers like this one for example. Beastmaster takes a lot of damage. He's retreating. Uh, the one peasant goes down. He's going for the next guard tower. Here comes uh, the blood mage and the footman. Just kidding. The beastmaster trying to at least. Yeah that's enough. No he levels up. Are you kidding me? He leveled up while the blood mage attack was in the air. And uh, meanwhile, destroyer is killing these guard towers. Another guard tower almost goes down. The destroyer goes down. Three destroyers left. Uh oh. Are we gonna hit the 0% chance uh, number soon for TGW? I think we're very close, guys. Very close. It's official, zero chances. Yeah, I think if we uh, round to no decimals, it is zero now, right? So. But we saw earlier that we should probably round it to one decimal. In which case, it's not quite 0.0, .0 yet. The blood mage attacks a destroyer. 36 playing against 38. Zeppelin flying with some footmen. Destroyers, they want the Zeppelin. They want this Zeppelin. Zeppelin gets away with the footman. Blood mage, he still has stuff to do. The Beastmaster level 3, Blood Mage level 4. Neither has boots of speed. Neither is uh, stronger than a Blade Master that's level 5. And the Blood Mage, he is beautiful, guys. Oh, Flame Strike! Boom. 
Does a lot of damage to these buildings. And he retreats. And what is this? A Zeppelin? Is he gonna drop in the main base? Beastmaster doesn't have the orb yet. He's at uh, Black Citadel, by the way. But doesn't have the orb for the Beastmaster. Imagine if he just creeps a little bit, get a level 5 Beastmaster, get like the orb, and just wins one base against two bases. Uh, there's definitely something I could see happening for TGW. He's going for Meat Dragons? Never mind then. Um, yeah, good luck. The Zeppelin hiding here over the water. Over the water, guys. The Footman. They can swim, so it must be super scary for the footman as well. Like, it's impossible to swim when you're in full armor. Destroyer over the mercenary camp. There's three destroyers. Oh, he's going for a flank attack on the zeppelin. Look at this flank attack on the zeppelin with three destroyers. The footman, they're panicking. The beastmaster here, they're helping the defense. We have even the birdie. He went for level two birdie and not piggy. And now the footman, they did drop. But, uh, you know, they're going to die very fast. Or flame strike. Boom. There's a lot of damage. And the blood mage being sniped. Attacked by the obsidian statues. Two meat wagons as well. Helping out. All the footmen die. The haunted gold mine is going to be just fine. And the blood mage. He does have staff. But three workshops are going up. Three farms are going up. And a tower. And a griffin aviary. And, you know, a beautiful game. Beautiful game, guys. A beautiful game. <laughs> More attacks here by the birdie. Blood mage just retreating and stuff. <laughs> Back to work of guys never make flame strike sound effects. Those flame strike sound effects are priceless. I mean, that's just, you know, that's just because we don't have Worker 3 Remastered yet. So I give you guys a sneak peek to Worker 3 Remastered. This birdie uh, goes down. There's another. Speed wagon uh, gets out of it. And the uh, shop went down. And the meat wagon is doing a lot of damage here to these towers. There's two armor upgrades here. Two major armor upgrades on these towers. And this piggy is beautiful. We have flying machines already. So many. They don't have the upgrades yet, do they? Oh, the, what is... How come the blood mage is over here? And he's over here. It's because we have double blood mages. Okay, let me fix this really fast here on the overlay. Um, blade, blade. I never uh, fixed a level 4 blood mage. Now, we have two blood mages for blade. One is level 4, one is level 1. Imagine double siphon mana here on this Beastmaster. Imagine double flame strike. Imagine uh, all these double blood mage strategies that he can do here. Imagine me making the sound effects of two flame strikes at the same time. This birdie attacks the blood mage. The blood mage retreats. His peasants are AFK. Hello. Are they just there with the auto repair or something? No, they would auto repair the farm. Flying machines are 0 0. So uh, here we have Silvus, Silvus Windrunner. He's the brother of Sylvanus. Here we have Aldous Firestarter, Fire Firestar. I mean, <laughs> Aldous Firestar. And there's a burning farm. Here come the flying machines. The flying machines are zero zero. The destroyers are zero zero as well. The flying machines doing so such a good job. It's not like we can get Panda here for TGW, so he has to deal somehow with the flying machines. He does have the orb on the Beastmaster, which is level 4 by the way now. His piggy is super angry, but he gets mana stolen by the level 4 uh, blood mage. The level 1 blood mage, does he have banish? I think so. So one is Siphon Mana and uh, Flame Strike, the other one is banish. What a nice combination. These blood mages, they are really nice synergy. Double blood mage, guys. I love how you say hello, Chaco. <laughs> okay. Hey, GG. The first game goes to Blade. We Do we leave this game? Just to watch. Or do we finish this game and just... I think we're just finished. The Let's just finish this game. And then if we miss the start of the Lucifer first happy game, we restream someone else. And then we join the second game. Let's just do that, guys. Because we're now watching this game. We're watching this game. And you guys don't want to see the, miss the end of this game. Anyway, we have a mountain king for blades and an alchemist for TGW. There. 
Mount King really love too. The alchemist here is Lapis. No, it's Easel Dark Brewer. He's just killing uh, shit over here. It's 1 1. Yagami won game 2. Oh, perfect. We are so lucky, guys. So lucky. I've never been this lucky before in my life. Uh, actually, we're not it's, we're not out of the luck factor yet. But if TGW wins this, then we're still screwed. So hopefully Blade wins this. Come on, Blade. Come on, Blade. You can do it. I'm not uh, I'm not biased, though, because I'm a professional caster. So even though it sounds like I'm biased, or even though it sounds like I hope Blade wins. Of course, I'm totally Im unbiased. And... Uh, Maybe uh, TGW can win the game with, it, with this Easel Dark Brewer. He does have a Ring of Protection, so does the Mount King. The Footman, hello, so annoying. Hammer to your face, stupid Footman. And the expansion here going up for TGW. We have another Footman here joining. The other Footman, look at this Alchemist. He's so angry, he's so raged. And he throws the Acid Bomb on a lot of peasants. One is uh, looking for one peasant, he's still fine. He didn't get hit by the uh, acid bomb. The peasant is dying so fast to the footman. And okay, next footman is going down next, of course. And he throws another acid bomb. So the footman can kill more footmen. So many acid bombs thrown here by the alchemist. He's so smart, by the way. 21 IQ. There's a storm bolt on something, on this footman or something. This footman dies. He has one more storm bolt. Nice bash. Can he kill this alchemist? He uses chemical rage to get out. Do we see storm bolt on the footman? Maybe. Chaco, your lack of bias scares me. <laughs> what? It is uh, what professional caster is supposed to be, man. Lack of bias. It's like when you watch a uh, when you watch a sports tournament or something, and you see commentators. They also lack bias, just like me. They're almost the same. The full band. They're all like uh, they have this ace at all on top of them. It must feel pretty uncomfortable. Another one. There's another one. So many acid bombs, man. How come a level 2 alchemist can throw so many? He doesn't even have any mana potions. Du double barracks going up. Triple barracks for TGW. What's Blade doing? Blade with single barracks. Okay. Triple barracks against solo barracks. Is this Footman Frenzy? Are we gonna watch a bit of Footman Frenzy? A player's forces are under attack. This Footman is fighting in the against this Footman. Nice fight. Let's see, what about anti-magic barrier and spell immunity versus area shackles from dra human dragon hawks? Also spell immunity from units versus... Fi what are we talking about? If you're talking about anti-magic shell, the banshee uh, thing on on air units against dragon hawks, I guess, I'm not sure if it, uh, it probably negates the first 350 damage, yeah. But I'm not sure. And then it will... Uh, you know, then the end of my shell will be removed. Here comes two footmen, they're killing a peasant. Yeah, but you're so unbiased, it's like I'm in a dream. Well, this is what I'm trying to create here with my stream. It's like a dream. A dream of Warcraft. Where you just... Where I just soothe you through an experience of, you know, war. You know, the, the alchemist is killing gnolls, that's what I'm saying. And here comes the Mountain King. And the Mount King and Footman and so many Footman. This Footman for TGW, is he dead? He is dead. Footman defending against the Footman. The second bear is going up for Blade. And then Blade is also killing Nulls. More of these Nulls are dying. Those Nulls are going next. Stormbolt on the Alchemist. Can he surround the Alchemist and kill him? He can surround him, but he cannot kill him because he TPs out. This footman is still alone. It points. Does he get one kill? No. All the footmen survived. This footman here over here is also still alive. Oh, the no overseer is beautiful. This footman finding against footman. Towers are going up here for blade. Is blade attacking? Blade's not attacking. Is uh no, not attacking. Okay. Where does human mirror ever? <laughs> Why aren't players playing 24 maps? They are playing 24 player maps. The null overseer is going down, guys. We have nice uh, healing wards. We also have Skull of the Beast. 
There goes another food man. School of the Beast is really good. Healing Wards is kind of good. You know the Alchemist creeping over here. As a map developer, I've tried expanding my map to 24 players and there are several problems preventing me from doing so. Okay. But can you overcome those problems? Or is that something only Blizzard can do? Mount King is interesting. Human mirror makes me want to kill myself. You don't have to kill yourself, man. You don't have to. We have so many footmen. It's just an exciting game. We have footmen and footmen. And, uh, but with the Claw of the Beast and the Healing Wards, maybe he can win the game. There's no ranged units here. So the Healing Wards are actually uh, uncancelable. Right? Imagine if you just place the Healing Ward and just defense it with footmen. No one is going to cancel the Healing Ward. Scroll of the Beast. There it is. Healing Ward. There it is. Let's see if someone slipped through. Oh, footmen slipped through. And got the cancel there. And he kills the footman, so he places down another healing ward here in a moment. You know, I'm pretty sure. Or maybe not. We have so many footmen though for TGW with Militia. But uh, there's a healing ward. And the is he going for it? No, the footman might have blocks here. Beautiful footman block. Footman block there. Oh, but the Militia sneaked in from the other side. And ah, oh, Mountain King level 4. Alchemist level 3 he has a mana stone, by the way. And there goes another footman. Blade does retreat. It's 51 supply against 51. Apparently, these items weren't good enough after all. The school of the beast. And I mean, we have one attack upgrade for TGW. So his footmen do a lot of damage. They do 14 damage on average. But these only does 12 and a half. So even with the school of the beast, it wasn't enough. It was not enough. Clap would be better. Two. Well, he didn't go for clap. So yeah. I mean, he could retrain maybe. But yeah, I agree. Clap would have been beautiful over there. Are under Mount King with Footman. Can they kill some more? Nice block here with the militia guy. Mount King and the Footman, they're walking in circles. And he splits up his Footman. Stormbolt kills one peasant over there. The other footman going for uh, peasants over there, maybe? Yes, yes. And meanwhile, TGW doesn't realize there's some footman over here killing his peasants. There's one footman trying to defend it. No, the Alchemist's gonna defend it. But now the Mount King going for these footmen. We see him attacking to castle and getting an attack upgrade for the rifleman. Uh, footman killing a footman. And there, look at the chemical rage here. Meanwhile, this rifleman in is some trouble. He's killed by a fellow dwarf. I wouldn't think uh, dwarves would kill dwarves, but yeah, dwarves. They kill dwarves. The Aquamaster is doing nothing over there. Footman surrounded. Oh no, the footman dies. Blade has a footman over there. Towers over there. He has towers over there. Castle over there. Footman over there. There's a footman over there. Not the king over here. Oh, and he go for the Norbert. He's gonna kill it. But well, meanwhile, the Alchemist is over here. He's still level 3. He's so close to level 4. But not quite. And there goes the Null. And these footmen with the Fent, they're using it against the Null Poachers. But that's all they're using it against because there's no piercing damage here for Blade. He didn't go for Rifle Man like, uh, like TW did. Nice chemical bomb. The Mount King and the footman are going to the center. Dwarven Dwarf, violence, sad face. Dwarves are assholes. I mean, I think it depends on the dwarf, right? I think I feel like if you're saying all oh, dwarves are assholes, uh, that's a pretty uh, general generalization that maybe you shouldn't make. Mount King walking uh, walking around kills another another footman. You know, these footmen go for the alchemist. You know, these footmen uh, they they find TGW creeping here. Mount King against footman, he wins. Footman against alchemist. The Alchemist will maybe win. The Footman against the Footman. What a fight. And do we see any attacks? We see uh, more Riflemen. We see here. Workshop. Workshop. Okay, great game. Mount King. We have two Mount Kings. Did he get a Mount King second? Are you kidding me? Are, is this really random? Is this actually random, guys? Are you guys serious? Is this random or is it just like 50% chance that you get the same hero twice? There's a circle there in the menu of health. Double Stormbolt. This Alchemist is in so much trouble.
Lose for one. He won already? Okay. That, uh, that kind of sucks. I guess we'll mi miss the first game. Unless this game can... Yeah, this game is not going to end anytime soon, guys. This game is going to last for another 30, 40, 50 minutes, maybe. All players' forces are under attack. How many heroes in Warcraft 3? There's, uh, let's see, 8 plus 20, 28. Isn't that correct? <laughs> Do we have more he heroes than we have hotkeys? Right, 4 times 4, 16. No, no, 24. 24 heroes. This rifleman does go down. We have a level 2 Mountain King now and a level 5 Mountain King. Here comes the Mountain Kings. Ah. This is 2v2. This is uh, 1v1. But in terms of Mountain Kings, it is 2v2. Uh, 2v1. 2 Mountain Kings against 1 Alchemist. Footman harassing over here. Mountain Kings killing stuff over here. And uh, there's a nice skill. A nice uh, acid bomb on this footman. More the team in the back. And what is Blade going for? Knights. Okay, knights and tanks. Oh, knights and tanks. Do we have mortar teams? He's just building two more mortar teams that can defend against the tanks. Two tanks here going for the workshop. Mortar team doing so much damage there in the back. Attacking this tank. See Mountain Kings over here. We have a Dreadlord. Uh, also for Blade. So let me fix that. So did he go for Empiric Aura first? Like there's so much melee fighting. No, he didn't go for Empiric Aura first. I'm not sure what skill he went first. I guess sleep for the uh, Alchemist. But with so much melee fighting on melee, Empiric Aura wouldn't be bad. This Mountain King is going to die. It's just a level 2 Mountain King. At least his level 5 Mountain King is still alive. The Dreadlord is also still alive. Xanadar. Meanwhile, uh, tanks here being killed by mortar teams. What a super game, guys. What a super game. What a super game. These knights are 1 and 2 upgraded. These knights are 1 and 1. So one more armor upgrade here for uh, plate. Expansion going up here. We have some items over the there. We have a flying the machine that seizes it all. It's 2 1 upgraded flying machine for TGW. The knight is sleeping and gets surrounded, and he's going to die. Ah. Do we see more heroes yet for our other player? TGW? No, he wants to get the Alchemist to level 6 so he can start selling units and uh, or turn them into gold. He's gonna kill this knight now. At some point, maybe, maybe not. The knight gets away. The knight gets away. We have mortar teams here against mortar teams. What a fight here. Of course, they cannot attack uh, units next to them. So that's why they weren't attacking. But the alchemist, he helps a lot. Mortar teams uh, attacking. Grr. Hey, Mountain King is out. Mountain King's back. There was a level 2 Mountain King, of course. And with some knights and some... Uh, Flank attack Maybe he can force a TP. There's a TP. Nice TP. And uh, what is happening over here, guys? A knight killing peasants. Nice knight killing peasants. Sleep to prevent staff, probably. There's no staff. I mean, it's it's pretty good on level five alchemist. A player's forces are under attack. Ah, this knight killing so much, giving so much alchemist uh, XP to the alchemist. What's an alchemist ultimate? It is um, transmute, turns the unit into gold, and then you sell it, sell the unit, so you get a lot of gold. Ah, these knights are pretty amazing. This knight one one. Alchemist so close to level 6. He needs 96 more XP. 96. Oh, Alchemist is sleeping, but he's still getting XP even if he's sleeping. I don't know how it makes sense. I wish I could learn stuff while I'm sleeping uh, in real life. Like, you know, like that. Uh, this this uh, Mortar team almost dies, but the Alchemist is sleeping again. 
And the chemical rage actually keeps going down even though he's uh, sleeping. So sleep is like the counter to chemical rage. You've seen it here first, guys. And uh, he's trying to kill this level 2 Mountain King. Let's see if he can kill it. There's a dead knight. Now he does have a staff, by the way. Level 6. Let's see the ultimate. He, sell, he sells his knight or turns into gold. And then, you know, sells it kind of. So he, uh, that's super duper good for the Alchemist. Meanwhile, over here, knights and peasants and footmen killing this base are still circled over there. The Alchemist. Ace bombs this level 2 Mountain King. I'm sure surprised we haven't seen more storm bolts. Like, actually, he's, uh, he doesn't have that much mana, of course. The Mount Kings are not that smart without the uh, Archmage there. Two, two footmen, by the way, now, and knights and everything else. These are just one or two. A player's, forces are player's forces are under attack. He's getting more knights. This tunnel is dead, guys. It's a dead tunnel. Do we see TGW building a tunnel here? He has two peasants here. He's first killing this peasant. And then builds a tunnel. Nice. Love your cast, man. I wish I, I can learn while sleeping. <laughs> yeah. What's the ultimate? Uh, Alchemist's ultimate? It is uh, transmute. It turns the unit into gold. And uh, yeah, the way it works is the unit is just gone, and the, the the owner of the alchemist he gets the gold for it. He gets the gold. How much gold does he get? He gets the gold, the cost of the unit in gold, right? So knight costs like two hundred forty-five gold, I believe. So if you if you you uh, did he just use it? If you transmute a, a knight, you get like 245 gold or so. Anyway, the alchemist is uh, in trouble. He has the info potion, but he gets storm bolted and again, and you know, info potion, but he cannot get away. He has to kill this knight and then get away somehow. He doesn't have a TP. This is a horrible mistake here for a DGW. There's a storm bolt. Alchemist is dead, guys. Arr! And is this GG? We also have Griffins now for Blade. And Griffins are great at killing knights. Uh, he's. His Mount King level 3, this other Mount King level 5. There it is, GG. Blade wins. Blade goes to the finals.